Hey, Mike here. Wanted to talk about adding values to commercial spaces. So a lot of times people are wondering, how do I add value? What does that actually mean? So commercial is five units plus. Um, on one to four unit buildings, typically how they value the property is based on comparables, right? We look at what's comparable around me, similar size, similar units, similar bedrooms, and then we come up with the value. With commercial units, it's really driven around revenue and expenses. And so the nice thing is, is you can control that. So if I increase revenue, I have the potential to increase that sales price. And so it, they they have a cap rate, um, which is based on the, the income that you generate and obviously your expenses. So ways that you can increase your the value of the building and add value. Number one is increase the occupancy. COVID's happened the last couple of years. There's a lot of buildings that have maybe had some hits where tenants aren't paying rents, they're getting behind, um, or maybe there's just more vacancies. So finding a way to bring in a strong property manager that can fill units is going to increase the occupancy. Increasing the occupancy obviously increases the revenue that you have. Number two is you update the units, right? I come in, new flooring, new paint, new countertops, new cabinets, you name it, we're updating those units. We're gonna increase the rent, which then is gonna increase that overall income for the building. So, you know, a lot of times, if there's a lot of vacant units, you might do it all at once, or you might just wait when tenants turn and update those units as tenants turn. Number three, what you can do is update common areas, right? Carpeting, uh, flooring in those common areas, you know, sometimes there's holes in the sheetrock in the hallways, different things like that. So you want to make the building look nicer internally and externally so you can update those common areas and make them nicer. And then kind of the fourth thing is updating amenities. So it might be the parking lots worn down. It might be um, playgrounds in the back that you want to update or you add a playground for kids um, or you add revenue generating opportunities. So Revenue generating would be washing machines, dryers, um, things that you're going to snack machines, um, those other things that could potentially increase the income of the property or even adding a garage, right? You rent out a garage. Now that might be 50 bucks a month more for each garage. So finding ways to increase the revenue on the building is going to increase the value of the building. So those are four top ways that we typically look at how can I add value to a building so that it increases the revenue and then will increase the potential sales price in the future. So if you have any questions on those things, feel free to reach out. That's all part of the strategy that we put together when analyzing a building, whether or not we wanna move forward with the purchase is what's gonna happen on the end that, what is that exit strategy? So if you have questions and you wanna know more, please reach out to us, thanks.